Christian, you, you, do, you don't have that kind of worship. You don't have that kind of worship to where you may pray before you go to sleep. You know, you just cross your hands and pray, yes. and that's it. Yes. But throughout the day, you do all kinds of evil things. But this brother was leaving things off, you know, when everybody around him was doing bad things. So he wasn't following anybody except for uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it was very attractive because it was just something different. And it seemed as though he was dedicating his life to something, and I, w and I was just attracted to it. So he actually, what, what really drew me close was there was a hadith which he showed me. And, and uh, I believe it was a hadith Qudsi in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah said that if a, if a person walks towards Allah, Allah will run towards him. Yes. And, and that's a brief yes, yes, word brief of the sin. Yes. It's very, it's very yes. long. Yes. But that moved my heart a little bit when it, when, it, when it said that if you just walk, he'll run. You know, he'll, you just go a little bit and, and he'll come farther, uh, closer. And it, and, it, and it was just beautiful that if you dedicate you know, yourself to or something, then everything will just fall in line. Very good. آه كنت طبعا بساله آه ايه اللي جذبك للدين الاسلامي او الاسلام قال بدايه الحياه بدايه الموضوع في الاسلام ان انا آه الاخ المسلم اللي هو كان عرفته كان بيؤدي التعاليم الاسلاميه بطريقه جميله جدا وبطريقه منظمه جدا وما كانش بيهمه اللي حواليه هم كانوا بيعملوا ايه لاني انا ك ك كنت في المسيحيه او كنا عندنا فكنا بن 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 يعني آه بنعيش حياتنا عاديه جدا ممكن نصلي اه بس نصلي يعني قبل ما نروح ننام نصلي صلاه عاديه كده بس طول النهار بنعمل كل الافعال اللي هي طبعا المحرمه اللي اللي مش موجوده في الاسلام لكن هو ما كانش بيبالي بده كله الاخ المسلم وكان بيعمل كل شيء زي ما هو آه عايز اللي هو اهم حاجه يكرس حياته للاله او لله سبحانه وتعالى وللاسلام والتعليم الاسلاميه فده اللي شدني من من من, أك من اكتر الاشياء اللي شدتني للاسلام ان انا ابقى مسلم واعمل نفس الطقوس الاسلاميه اللي هو بيعملها فطبعا بدات اعتنق الاسلام من وجهه النظر دي اللي هو ان انا ابقى مقدس حياتي الاسلام واجمل شيء ان الواحد يقدس حياته الاسلام وكمان سمعت الحديث القدسي اللي الاخ اسمه امير كان يعني اسمه امير الاخ المسلم قال له فطبعا مارك بيقول ان هو امير قال لي ان في حديث قدسي عن الرسول عليه السلام بيقول قال الله سبحانه وتعالى يعني من تقرب الي شبرا تقربت اليه ذراعا ومن تقرب الي باعا تقربت اليه فبما معناه ان هو كل ما الانسان يتقرب الى الله سبحانه وتعالى بشيء ربنا بيتقرب ليه اكتر وبيقربه اكتر منه فاذا حاولت انا اقرب لربنا اكتر بالعبادات والطقوس الاسلاميه عشان طبعا ربنا يتقبلني في الاسلام هنرجع معاه تاني ونساله ان شاء الله سؤال تاني اه اوكي ام هاو دو يو ليف ناو اند وات ار يور ويشز فور ذا فيوتشر الحمد لله فيري جود كويشن هاو اي ليف ناو اي وود اي وود سي اتس ديفينتلي كومبليتلي ديفرنت ذان اي واز بيفور نوت اونلي بيكوز اي واز يونغ يو نو اي واز فيري يونغ بيفور اي واز ليفين بت ات ذا سيم تايم ناو ماي داي ريفولفز اراوند اسلام And I, and, and I believe that for, for, for the most part, from what I see, for those Muslims who are practicing, is that that's how every Muslim's day is. You know, you wake up for Fajr and you pray Fajr in the Masjid. And then your day goes on from there and it's, it, it, your day revolves around the Masjid and learning. You know, uh, you go out, you're Muslim, you come in your house and your wife is Muslim. And you, and you know, Salaamu Alaikum. So your day revolves around Islam. So your whole day is Ibadah. And it's just a beautiful thing. Before, as I mentioned, without getting into too many details, it was, it was just a very rough life. You know, uh, I'm not saying that I, I was poor or I, or I was less fortunate than others, but it, it, there was emptiness. You know, there was emptiness. Yeah. آه كنت بساله طبعا حياتك عامله ايه دلوقتي وايه التغيير في حياتك حاليا آه هو قال طبعا كل حاجه اتغيرت آه دلوقتي ازاي ان انا ان انا آه بتابع التعاليم الاسلاميه وازاي ان حياتي كلها متعلقه بالصلاه والصيام والعباده وازاي ان احنا نقوم الفجر ونصلي الفجر ون ون ونعبد ربنا آه غير غير الحياه المختلفه تماما اللي قبل كده اللي هي يعتبر مليانه بالفراغ 
هو يعني يقصد كلمه الفراغ بمعنى الفراغ لكن هو الوقت طبعا حياته مليانه كلها بالايمان والعبادات والطقوس الاسلاميه اللي هي تلتف حوالين الصلاه والصيام والعبادات والطقوس المختلفه الاسلاميه وانا دلوقتي هساله سؤال ثاني ان شاء الله وات از يور ادفايس تو ذا يونج مسلمز Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I wanted to say what I, I wanted to mention about my future first. Very good. Uh, I'm okay. So, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Is that fine? Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, now, as far as the future, um, and and I'm actually going to tell you some very good news. Uh, me and my wife have been married for three years. Very good. And uh, we've been trying very hard to have a child. Um, however, the doctors told her that she wouldn't be able to have children. And yesterday we went to the doctor and she is pregnant. Very good. So congratulations. Congratulations. No, so so I'm I'm expecting my first child, inshallah. Inshallah. And 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 that's going to be the first generation of Muslims in our family. Inshallah. Because her whole family is not Muslim, and my whole family is not Muslim. So she's Muslim, I'm Muslim, and we will have our first Muslim baby, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. طبعا هو كان بسأل سؤال فكمل قال أنا عايز أكمل أمنياتي بالنسبة للمستقبل أو أو كلم على المستقبل إن هو بيقول إن أنا متجوز من من ثلاث سنين وطبعا هي مسلمه وكان هو بيتمنى انه يبقى له ابن في الاسلام ان هو طبعا هيبقى اول ابن او اول ولد في العيله مسلم طبعا هعمل جيل مسلم ان شاء الله في العيله في العيلتين عيله عيلته هو الشخصيه وعيله زوجته لكن بقى لنا ثلاث سنين بنحاول ان احنا ننجب لكن ربنا ما كانش رايد ساعتها لكن الحمد لله انا رحت امبارح هو راح مارك راح امبارح للدكتور والحمد لله قال له خبر جميل جدا ان ان هو زوجته حامل والحمد لله هو فرحان جدا ان هو ان شاء الله هيبقى عنده ولد وهيبقى اول جيل في في العيلتين مسلم ان شاء الله Uh, okay, just uh, right now, uh, tell me about the main situations in your life, some specific situations that you like to mention it to the, 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 the viewer now. now. Um, uh, any, I, I, I don't understand like something specific. Uh, sp some specific, specific, specific in your life, just related to Islam or related to Christianity before, related to that you'd like to mention it that change your life or something like this. Um, well, I believe that the, the thing that changed my life is Islam. You know, uh, as I mentioned, and, and I don't want to keep repeating myself, but uh, I, I, just, I do have to just say that my life was very different. And when people see me or saw me when I was back in America, they would think that something weird happened to me. You know, because now I'm wearing a thobe and now I have my beard. And, you know, friends that I grew up with, they're still doing the same stuff that they were doing before the same you know so as i've left them as i've grown away from them you know and, and found new muslim friends uh they're still living that same